Diego Padres Vinny Machado rebuild. So let's hop into it, guys. Okay, guys, so here on opening day, I'll show you guys the roster real quick. The only big trade we have is we have Manny Machado. Um, you guys can tell he's with Baltimore most of his life, San Diego this year. Um, let's see, he should be a pretty big impact. Now, I'm going to come over here real quick. And it looks like we need a rel we need relievers. Oh, we definitely need to work on our third baseman. So I'm going to try to get some trades here and see how we can fix those. Okay, guys, this is the first big trade we're going to make. We are going to get rid of Luis Pedrome, Buddy Reed, and Josh Naylor for Calvin Herrera and Ivan Nova. Um, so in addition to this move, guys, we actually made another trade. We actually got Mike Moustakis. Um, not sure why he's not on the 40-man. That's why. So, yeah. So actually, before we start the season, guys, you can tell we have... Let's, we have a pretty big bullpen here, and then our. I mean, we do have a pretty good, decent size here. Um. One thing I don't like though is the amount of rookies we have. So I'm gonna try to potentially get rid of these rookies, and maybe try to get like a solid lefty for the bullpen. Okay, so at the end of April, we are 18 and 12. Not bad at all. We lead the division by one game though. Um, Mustak is playing amazing. Nine home runs. Um, behind Kyle Schwarber though. So if we look at Machado, he hasn't been playing great. Eleven runs, only three home runs. Uh, he's batting two twenty six. So not great for Machado. Um, Mustak is on fire though. Besides that, we also got Calvin Herrera, who's playing okay, three and one. And then Nova, I don't even believe is starting. He's in our bullpen, Nova. Yeah, Nova is pitching not great, so we're probably going to look for a trade for Nova. And yeah. Okay, guys, so we just made another deal. We gave up an A prospect, and we actually got, I know he's in the last rebuild, but we got Rafael Iglesias. And then for right field, we got Yasiel Puig um, for some A prospect. I'm telling you right now, I'm sorry about Rafael Iglesias. If you saw my Diamond Dynasty team, he's a stud, pitches really fast. I like him. He was kind of a throw in guy to the Puig trade, but. Yeah, okay, so at the end of May, we are 31-27. We did have a little rocky start to the month. We're four games out of first, Dodgers in first. We're only a half a game, though, out of that wild card, so I feel like we could be making a push there. Um, besides that, stats-wise, Iglesias pitching amazing. Uh, Will Myers playing well. Machado now starting to heat up. Um, and then where's Puig? Puig is also really heating up, so I feel like our lineup is heating up. Uh, I'm just wondering why, because the top three guys are all hot, and then we have done it's just hedges. We might have to go after a catcher. Okay, so we just made another trade, guys, and you guys can tell we got Jonathan Scope, and for I think two A prospects, and we got him to throw in Jason Castro because we got rid of hedges. Um, so it's hedges and two A prospects for Castro and Scope, but I thought it was worth it. Okay, so I just got this notification, guys. Twins acquired David Robertson, Phillies game Miguel Snow. I think we actually made that trade um, last season with the rebuild. But anyways, it is the end of, I believe that was June. We are 45 and 40. We are six and a half games out of first. And we're starting to fall behind. We're two and a half games out of sec out of the wild card. Um, Scope playing good. Like, I still don't understand. Everyone's playing Moustakis. That's why. Okay, guys, so at the All-Star break, we are 50 and 49, so it looks like we're going to be finishing about 500 on the year. Uh, we're now starting to fall behind. Okay, guys, so we are back in the moves. We did get two starting pitchers from the Cincinnati Reds. We got Sonny Gray, and then I think we got Luis Castro. Um, Luis Castro is an A potential player, so I think I'm actually going to trade him because he's 3 and 10 on the year. Sonny Gray, though, he's probably going to keep... So yeah, so I'm gonna go find a trade for Luis Castro. Okay, so I just looked, I just checked the trading block, and JT Real Muto was on the trading block. So we made a trade for him. Uh, where's Real Muto? There he is, JT Real Muto. We actually traded for him. Uh, I want to say we gave up like we gave Jason Castro. I know, and I want to say we gave up one of our top prospects, but we got JT Real Muto. Like it's a pretty good trade. Um, so yeah, let's see how Real Muto affects this lineup. 
Okay, so I just got this offer from the Boston Red Sox. They will give us Craig Kimbrell and Cam Gallagher a B potential for JT Real Muto. I'm probably going to decline it because Real Muto is on a fire streak right now. Well, and Kimbrell is better, but we don't we already have, yeah, we have Rasael. So I'm going to decline the trade. So here at the trade deadline, guys, we are 56 and 54. Um, six games out of first there, and only oh, we're six games out of both. Wow. Um, I guess I'll see you in September. Okay, so this month really started off on a hot streak. We moved up to 72 and 65. Uh, let's see where this puts us. Okay, we're now two games out of first, and we're four and a half. So I think our best shot here is now against the Dodgers. Um. So we'll see here if we potentially bring home the World Series in the first year. Just looking here, uh, it doesn't look like we... Oh yeah, we play the Dodgers right here in this crucial three-game series at Los Angeles. If we could sweep them here, that would be so good. Okay, guys, so we are at this series here. They have, I believe, a one-game lead on us, maybe even two. Yeah, they have... Oh, we actually were in the lead. We have a one-game lead. So we have a one game lead, but we have this crucial series against the Dodgers. We gotta go Sonny Gray versus Hunter and Rio. That's gonna be definitely a Dodgers one. I'm not even sure we have starting. And then Clay Kershaw. I feel like we take we could get swept here. This could be bad. Game one. We won four nothing. This is the game I'm concerned about. We won six four to sweep the Dodgers. We swept the Dodgers in LA. Did that clinch? And we haven't clinched yet, but we now have a four game lead. Wow. Let's see here. Okay, a sweep of the Giants. That probably should do it. Yeah, we've clinched the playoffs here. Let's see if we can go out on a little winning streak here. We currently have won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven straight games. Eight straight games. We lost. Okay, we went 91 and 71. Congratulations, Padres made it, and we won your division. We'll be taking on the Cubs in the division series. So first year, guys, we made it as I believe the three seed actually. Uh, Mets. So we got three NLA East teams here. In we got the Nationals, Mets, and Braves. Uh, we just gotta take care of the Cubs here. We made the playoffs. That was the that was the team's goal. Let's see if we can bring home a World Series. Lost game one. One game two. One game three to go to the NLCS. We lost. We're in game five here. And we won. Okay. We're going to the NLCS against the Washington Nationals. Uh, the Mets actually won the wild card game but lost to the Nationals. Let's see if we can take care of the Nats. Lost game one. Lost game two. One game three. One game four. One game five to go to the World Series. Yes, we did. We're going, we're playing the Yankees or the Astros. Let's see who it is. The New York Yankees versus the San Diego Padres. Wow, in the World Series. Okay, 1 nothing us. Oh, 1 1. Oh, we're down 2 1. They're one game away from winning the World Series. We won, okay. We're keeping it alive here. Set it into game 7. We lost. No, we lost. To the Yankees in the World Series. That just sucks. So here are the free agents, guys. Let's see who we have to go after. So, I mean, this is this was such a good team, too. Positions we have to go after, though. Probably right field, maybe third base. Okay, guys, so we didn't really get anyone this offseason. Um, I had a really bad offseason. I like the team we have, though. I feel that the team we have... Is good enough, and I feel like we could be winning the series this year. We still have Real Muto, we still have Scope, um, Rafael Iglesias, Manny Machado. Let's see how spring training goes. Okay, so at the end of spring training, we finished 15 and 13. Um, okay, not bad. Uh, yeah, so let's now enter the season. Okay, guys, so at the end of June, we are 49 and 35. We're one and a half games out of first place, and we are one game out of the wild card. So we're looking good here. We're hanging in there. Um, home run leader Cody Bellinger leads it. 
We don't really have anyone. Nelson Cruz, 62 RBIs. We might be going after him. Um, the reason why I didn't go after Nelson Cruz was because the set the first time I attempted this rebuild, we actually got Nelson Cruz, but he retired after one year. So I didn't want that to happen. Maybe we go after him this year, um, or like Trey Turner or someone. And we'll see what we need. Uh, still need a third baseman. So we might go after Trey Turner and a right fielder. Okay, so we just made one more deal with the Colorado Rockies. We got Daniel Murphy. And where is he? And Nelson Cruz in exchange for Ian Kinsler. And I believe our last A prospect. So our future isn't looking that bright. But we still have JT Murphy at first. But he can play third if we need him to. Um, so let's see how this affects us. Okay, so our first baseman is among the best. Third base... I was kind of hoping, you know, at third base, someone like Daniel Murphy could play third. Um, and then I think we might actually trade Moustakis. But let's see. I'm actually going to make that change right now. Okay. Oh, my God, guys. So I just checked my notifications. This popped up. Yo, what is Cespedes got traded from the Mets to the Dodgers? Like, this is insane. This is our competition here. They just got a big bat in Cespedes. Like, we could be screwed here. Um, So, we actually got a player that was selected in the Home Run Derby. Let's see who we got selected. Nelson Cruz is participating in the Home Run Derby. Wow, Michael Conforto. Let's see. I don't think we can see, see that. But guys, at the also break, we're 58 and 40. We were actually in first place by one and a half games. We got Nelson Cruz, which is helping a lot. Let's see, where's Cruz? I feel like Murphy was a little bit of a bust because I don't think we're really playing him up to his full potential. But I feel like Nelson Cruz is definitely going to be the one carrying us at the end of the day. Um, so I might be making a trade to get rid of Puig and to get rid of... Um, okay, guys, so I'm right here. I'm looking at the Mets real quick, just because after that Cespedes trade, I think they might be in the rebuilding stage. For Yasiel Puig, they will give us Robinson Cano, Tomas Nito, and Mark Venitos. I might make this trade. I feel like Puig we don't need. I just, I'm a little concerned. We already have scope. Cano would add on to that depth, I guess. But then we'll have Murphy. I don't know. And then we can have Tomas Nito. I think I'll actually take that trade. So, we just got... Yeah, we just got... Oh my god, we just got... At second base, Robinson Cano. And then I'm making sure the other prospects we just... We still have Tatias Jr. I'm, he's the one guy I'm trying to save for a big trade, but I think he's our last big prospect. Left. I'm making sure Tomas... Yeah, like Tomas. You see, Tomas needs to be down in like AAA. Okay, guys. So here at the trade deadline, we are... I believe... 60, yeah, 63 and 46. We should be running away with the division. But we are actually a half a game out of the division. That's how close it is. You would think we were running away with it, but we're really not. So, I'll see you at the end of August. Okay, guys. So, we're at the beginning of September. We had a terrible last couple months. Yeah, we're now four games out of first. 77 and 64. I guess our best push is to push for the wild card. Because we are one and a half games out of that. But it's just, it's not looking good, guys. Okay, guys. So, we're in a big pretty big series here with the Dodgers um I don't think it's really gonna matter because I think they already clinched they haven't clinched yet we're two games out of the wild card though so we need to start winning games here and hope that the Phillies lose um so we took two out of three against the Dodgers we have three games left let's see if are the chances are still alive two and a half games I think the Phillies just need to win one more game we can't lose any more games. And we lost. I think that's going to do it. I think we're going to miss the playoffs. Yeah, we're going to get swept. So we missed the playoffs, guys. The Dodgers beat the Indians. Of course they did. So we have one season left, guys, to do with this. See, this is what I mean. Nelson Cruz retired. So we made a big trade for him. And then, of course, he retired. Uh, 
But still, so we need to go out. We need to make the playoffs this year. This is going to be the year. I'm calling it right now. Okay, so I'm kind of pissed. So I just saw this notification. This offseason, we got A.J. Miller in exchange for Cano and Garrett Richards. Okay, so about midway through May 2020, we are 29-20. and 20. Uh, We're out of the division by four and a half games. We're, the, we're definitely in the wild card spot, though. Guys, I did go out. I made a trade for us real quick. I did get us Lorenzo Kane. Um here towards the all-star break i think this was the guy we traded for yeah, this is the guy we traded for cano and the prospect i guess it was a good trade but yeah so let's just see where we are in the standings we are actually still four and a half games out of first we're still that first wild card though okay guys so at, at entering september guys we are 79 and 57 um Five and a half games out of first, still in that first wild card. I think we're aiming for that first wild card at this spot at, at this point. Um, I honestly thought we had in the bag the first season. Okay, guys, so the season's just about over. Um, we clinched a playoff spot, so we're gonna be in the wild card game, which it's 50 50 if we're gonna win that or not. Um, so we're playing the Philadelphia Phillies, the team we were rebuilding last game Phillies versus the Padres okay two nothing oh they got two runs on us okay we got one. Oh wait no they it's four two we're hosting the game and it looks like we're not gonna be taking it five to two oh five four I'm going to Kirby There we go. Hosmer. Fly out. Single. Come on. Can I pinch hit with him? Yes. Uh, who can play right field? Ian Desmond. Fly out. Triple and it's now 6-4. to four. Strikeout. Walk. Field of choice. Jonathan Scope. Strikeout, strikeout. I mean, guess I guess we'll just go with Murphy. And flat, we lost. So we could not bring home a World Series. We did come in second. That's going to do it for the video, guys. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week for another Diamond Dynasty video. Peace out.